Alright, another card by Vanguard Rankings. This time on the mask unit based on their designs and not by their skills. Because if it's by skills, we're gonna be having a lot of debate on which one's the best. So instead, we're gonna go on my opinion on how cool they look. And personally, I really love the mask unit as a concept. Basically, sacrificing your old identity and submitting yourself to the new dragon tree. And when you submit yourself to the dragon tree, you throw away your old identity and then wear the new mask. And I really love the concept of it. But anyway, like usual, I am ranking these based on their designs. I would say base form first, but in this case, since we're just ranking their mass forms, which is only all one form, we're not going to need to do that. We're just going to be ranking the mass form itself on how cool they look. And in fact, those who wear the mask actually change forms, aka give it a little more corrupted aesthetic, as they've basically fallen into power by the Dragon Tree's influence. But anyway, no more wasted time and let's begin. And remember, this is going to be based on the anime appearances only, so unfortunately we will not have greed on mass shown here because that was the only one not shown in the anime despite a character actually using them. But anyway, on the bottom of my list, which is number 8, it's Zorga Mask. I'm not saying Zorga is not cool. In fact, I think Zorga is a very cool unit, especially the necromancer skeleton-like unit that it looks. And I like his partially undead look, but Zorga Mask is basically not a mask unit himself. Why? Because Zorga never wears the mask. He's just basically plain old Zorga just holding the mask and using the power of Mask of Hydrogram that is in his hand. So he does doesn't even change forms at all. In a way, I kind of like that concept because it represents Zorga's personality, but it's kind of a little bit disappointing that he doesn't really have an actual mask form, which is why he's just in the bottom of the list. On number 7, we got Leonorn Mask. I will have to say, I'm not saying this card is not cool looking, but as a corrupted waifu from life to basically death, this can be a little scary. And I kind of like where it becomes. Basically, Leonorn used to be able to hear music, but now she just ignores everything because it doesn't matter anymore. Anymore. And I like how her hair color and her wardrobe just completely changes to the opposite color as well. It makes it look a little scary and menacing, especially the eyes. But I would say it's probably not as cool as Zorga Mask in a way, but considering that this one actually changes form while Zorga Mask is still basically playing old Zorga just holding the Mask of Hydrogram, I say this one deserves to be higher. But then again, we could just argue with Zorga the same way where he's not wearing an actual Mask of Hydrogram. Number 6, we got Almagister Astroya Michael Mask. This one definitely looks menacing from a charming looking witch to a very menacing looking witch. Her wardrobe definitely completely changed. She now has basically a crown and even her eyes change as well and I just love the moon crescent theme on it. Almost like a sky angel that is evil and I love this look. Or a evil nighttime angel and I just love the little design. I love the crystal on her forehead as well. Especially the mask of hydrogram just on her eye. It just looks really awesome. Her wardrobe actually looks pretty cool as well. Overall, Michael Mass is just really cool, but not as cool as the other units. And then for number 5, we got Omni Gruzio Mask. From a cat turning into a dragon. And I have to say, this one looks a little scary considering the amount of eyes that it has. I like the chest eyes, basically cat eyes, basically, for this unit. And of course, the Mask of Hydrogram not going on its head, but rather on the chest eye. That's a little more unique. One of the main factors why I like this one more than Michael Mass is design. It was a little bit disputed, but I end up liking this one because it has more concept to it. The dual colored sided wings, one red and one white is also very awesome. And the one evil eye head crown. I just love the little design right there. Pretty scary, I will have to say. And kind of creepy too. To number 4, we got Magnolia Mask. This unit looks a little bit scary, basically from a beast emperor to a evil beast king. And I really love the dark aesthetic on Magnolia Mask, especially wearing the mask itself. It actually looks very scary on a big giant beast, and I just love it. I also like the rune on the back. That definitely looks menacing as well, and how wise it looks at the same time. And obviously it's because of all the hair, but still. And the corrupted wing design, I just love it. From a wise old beast master into a corrupted one and just overall just looks very scary especially from the color change of a very light theme aesthetic to a very dark theme aesthetic and then number three we got norlinger mask norlinger already looks pretty cool as an alien space dragon theme or it's supposed to be a space dragon but doesn't look like a space dragon but still has some dragon aesthetic on the head i can say but overall it looks really scary especially the tentacle theme that she has i love 
love the design of Norlinger Mass, especially how it turns from kind of grayish to purple. It just looks even scarier. I love the head design too, with the corrupted horns. And I especially love the eye color change, because that always makes it look scarier. And then number two, we got Orphis Mask. Orphis itself already looks cool, and I really love the armor's design of Orphis, but turning from red to basically a gray darkish theme, I just love the design of Orphis Mask here. And even the head design for with the mask on just looks awesome. It really looks like a very menacing mask unit. And I definitely love the cube runes on his body. And also the scythe color change. I just love how the scythe also changes color as well. And overall it's just a very awesome unit as it is. I already like Orphis, but changing it to mask just looks even more awesome. Now this one is probably more a regular base form Orphis than Orphis Regis change, but still, still looks cool regardless. And one thing I really love about Orphis Mask is that Orphis Mask actually uses the power of the light and is unaffected by it, compared to the two Orphises where they only use the power of darkness, but this one uses both. Now to number one on my list, it's Dragjeweled Mask. Dragjeweled Mask just looks awesome. Dragjeweled itself was already awesome, and the Jewel Dragon getting corrupted just looks even cooler, especially the color aesthetic on Dragjeweled Mask and the aura surrounding his jeweled flames. I just love it. The head design with the mask just looks even cooler and overall Jejeweled Mask is probably the coolest mask unit in my opinion. I just really love the change armor design on Jejeweled Mask just for wearing the Mask of Hydrogram. And the Mask of Hydrogram on Jejeweled actually looks kind of a little scary on him too. Basically it's from a purple aesthetic on Jejeweled to a very gray looking one. And just overall I think Jejeweled Mask is just the coolest of the mask units. So that's it for these rankings on my mask units, what do you guys think of it? And how would you rank them? Based on anime appearances only so there's no green on mask. But if you're going by ability, in my opinion Norlinger mask is the worst and the debatable tooth one which one's the best is probably Orphis mask or Dredjeweled mask. I'm not gonna count on Agruzio because that one's dedicated to that one deck that functions consistently to each other. And even Green on Mask in a way because I have to say Green on Mask has consistency in many ways. And that's only if I were to be ranking Mask Unit based on their abilities. But since I'm not ranking them based on abilities, I'm ranking them based on design because I don't want to debate that. But I just gave you my thoughts on them, so go ahead and tell me yours. But anyway, as you guys can tell, we got a Mask Unit for Dark State, Branky, and Stokea, but nothing for Dragon Empire or Cater Sanctuary. Cater Sanctuary definitely has one good candidate in the name of Olden because Jinky was actually using Olden. And if you guys were to say to have a mask unit for the remaining nations, I will not count Lyrical here, what do you guys think it would be? I say Olden, but Dragon Empire is going to be the tough one. But I would have loved to see Gandiva as a mask unit, or in a way even Nirvana, because Nirvana, the corrupted new savior, can be a little bit of a scary concept of a mask unit. So I just gave you my idea, go ahead and give any other ideas if I'm missing any. But other than that, that's for this, and see you next time.